Hey buddy, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome to our channel, Fact Hunters. In this video, we will take you through the top 10 amusing facts about relativity and quantum physics. If you're new to this channel, then here's our introduction, we here at Fact Hunters create and upload daily interesting fact videos on our channel. So, if you would like to have our content on your feed, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, let's begin. Number 10. If we hang a huge number of bananas in the space, then it would create same amount of energy as of the sun. The sun produces a lot of energy because of its enormous weight which creates vast gravity putting its core under colossal pressure. In simple words, you might have observed a bicycle pump getting hot after you use it, this is because of the air pressure. As the pressure increases, temperature also increases. If we take the same number of banana as the number of hydrogen in the sun and then hung it in space, it would create same pressure as the sun and therefore same temperature. So it would make very little difference to the heat whether you made the sun out of hydrogen, or bananas. Number 9. All the matter that makes up the human race could be fit inside a sugar cube. Atoms are 99.9% .9 empty space. If we force all the atoms together, removing the space between them, crushing them down so that all those vast cathedrals are compressed, a single sugar cube of the resulting mass will weigh 5 billion tons. About 10 times the weight of all humans who are currently alive. Incidentally, that is exactly what has happened in a neutron star, the super-dense mass left over after a certain kind of supernova. Number 8. The present is affecting the past. I know you're like, what the heck? But, it is true, quantum physics is weird enough to explain this. But, you will have to try to open your mind in order to understand this out-of-the-box concept. So, stay with me I'll try my best to explain this. Okay, so I think all of you know about the double-slit experiment, which was done to show that light behaves as both a wave and particle. According to this experiment, if you observe which of the narrow beam of light passes through the object, you force it to behave like a particle. If you don't observe this and instead observe where it lands on screen, then you'll force it to behave like a wave. But if you wait for it to pass through, and then observe which way it came through, it will retroactively force it to have passed through one or the other. In other words, causality is working backwards, the present is affecting the past. Of course in the lab this only has an effect over indescribably tiny fractions of a second. But John Wheeler suggested that light from distant stars that has bent around a gravitational well in between could be observed in the same way, which could mean that observing something now can literally change what happened thousands, or even millions, of years in the past. Interesting, isn't it? I hope you all understood what I meant to say. Tell me in the comments box if you want a more detailed video on this. Number 7. Almost 90% of the universe is invisible. Galaxies hold more matter than could be accounted for by the visible matters. All these missing or invisible matter is called dark matter. There are probably more than 100 billion galaxies in the cosmos. Each of those galaxies has between 10 million and a trillion stars in it. But all these billions and trillions of planets and stars in the universe only account 2% of its total mass. With 98% of mass of our universe is made up by dark matter and dark energy which is invisible to us. There seem to almost six times more dark matter present in our galaxy than the ordinary visible matter. The remaining matter is dubbed dark energy which is needed to explain the apparent expansion of the universe. Nobody knows what dark matter or dark energy is. Number 6. Light doesn't always travel fast and things can travel faster than it. Light travels the fastest when it's in vacuum at a constant speed of 3 lakh kilometers per second but this is not the same case in every medium. In some nuclear reactors, particles are forced to travel very fast and in these nuclear reactors light naturally travels relatively slower cause they are made up of insulating material which slows light down. So, here the particles travel faster than light around them, due to which they produce a blue glow known as Cherenkov radiation. This is why nuclear reactors glow in night. Incidentally, the slowest light has ever been recorded traveling was 17 meters per second, about 38 miles an hour through rubidium cooled to almost absolute zero, when it forms a strange state of matter called a Bose-Einstein condensate. Light has also been brought to a complete stop in some other matter. Number 5. According to physicists, there are an infinite numbers of your doppelganger. 
Have you watched the movie called Coherence which features an infinite number of parallel universes crashing into each other because of which the people in the movie get mixed up with their look-alikes and start living into some other parallel world? If no, then I recommend you to watch it. Physicists believe that there are an infinite number of parallel universes with people same like us and they are existing side by side like bubbles in a soap. And because there are infinite number of these universes, every possible history must have played out. So, this exact event of me creating this video and you watching it now must have happened an infinite number of times. More amazingly, we can even calculate how far our nearest doppelganger is. It is for sure distance of 10 rays to power 10 rays to power 28 meters away from you which is 28 followed by 10 billion 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 zeros away. Number 4. Black holes aren't black. Black holes aren't practically black they are very dark but not black though. I know that's a very girly thing but can't do anything. Apart from this, black holes glow, giving off light across the whole spectrum, including visible light. This radiation is known as Hawking radiation which is named after Stephen Hawking who first proposed its existence. Because they are constantly giving this off, and therefore losing mass, black holes will eventually evaporate altogether if they don't have another source of mass to sustain them, for example interstellar gas or light. Number 3. The fundamental description of the universe does not account for a past, present or future. According to the special theory of relativity, there is no such thing as a present, or a future, or a past. Time frames are relative, ours are similar because we are moving at similar speeds. If we were moving at very different speeds, we would find that one of us aged quicker than the other. Similarly, if one of us was closer than the other to a major gravity well like the Earth, we would age slower than someone who wasn't. Just like the movie Interstellar in which there is a planet where one hour is equal to seven years on Earth. This difference in time frame is caused by weak gravity. Let's take GPS satellites as for an example. GPS satellites, of course, are both moving quickly and at significant distances from Earth. So their internal clocks show a different time to the receivers on the ground. A lot of computing power has to go into making your satellite navigation work around the theory of special relativity. Number 2. A particle here can affect a particle on other side of universe. Let's understand this with the help of an example. When an electron meets its antimatter twin, a positron, the two are annihilated in a tiny flash of energy. Two photons fly away from the blast. Subatomic particles like photons and quarks have a quality known as, spin. It's not that they're really spinning, it's not clear that would even mean anything at that level, but they behave as if they do. When two are created simultaneously the direction of their spin has to cancel each other out, one doing the opposite of the other. However. When you do observe one, it will suddenly be going clockwise or anti-clockwise. And whichever way it is going, its twin will start spinning the other way, instantly, even if it is on the other side of the universe. Number 1. The mass or weight of an object increases as its speed increases. In simple words, the faster you move, the heavier you get. Not permanently, and only by a tiny amount. Light speed is the speed limit of the universe. So if something is traveling close to the speed of light, and you give it a push, it can't go very much faster. But you've given it extra energy, and that energy has to go somewhere. Where it goes is mass. According to relativity, mass and energy are equivalent. So the more energy you put in, the greater the mass becomes. This is negligible at human speeds, Usain Bolt is not noticeably heavier when running than when still, but once you reach an appreciable fraction of the speed of light, your mass starts to increase rapidly. So, this was all for today, I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did then, please leave a like on this video. You can give your feedback in the comments section below. With this, I'm signing off for today. I hope you have a great day ahead.